looking at music theater works. I'm coming to you live from the North Shore Center for Performing Arts in Skokie. And we are now actually putting on the second production of our 2021 season, Mamma Mia. Um, and sitting next to me is one of our extremely talented performers. Uh, if you want to introduce yourself. Sure. I'm Casina Rather and I play Tanya. Yes. And uh, from just from the past couple of days of seeing you in the dress rehearsal and all the other rehearsals we've had really leading up to this point and now in our first preview, our group preview today, uh, it's just absolutely phenomenal, all the different things that uh, you and the other cast have been doing. Yeah. And you guys work together so well. And uh, I just cannot wait for everyone to actually see, uh, you know, the show that we have all worked so hard to put together starting tomorrow, August 19th and running through to August 29th. So now just to, you know, really uh, tell people out there listening right now, how did you really come across Music Theater Works or really get involved with Mamma Mia in the first place? Well, I've known about Music Theater Works for years. I've had several friends work here, okay. um, but never gotten the opportunity to do a show here myself until, um, well, pre-pandemic, I was doing a show with Justin Brill called White Christmas. Oh, and we okay. played opposite each other as Judy and Phil. So wonderful. After we had closed, he had mentioned that he was directing a little show called Mamma Mia. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, God, I would kill to play Tanya, but I didn't think I was in the running um, until he asked me to come audition. Yeah, And I, I came, auditioned, and the funny thing was, I loved it so, so much, and I think they did too. They came back and asked me to come audition for Billy Elliot as well, mm -hmm. which I ended up booking both of the shows. So it was a great start of the year to 2020, and of course we had to postpone, but I'm just so thrilled to finally be here. Yeah, and I know originally Music Theater Works as a company, we had uh, had plans to launch Mamma Mia last year, but because of the pandemic, everything really shut down. Oh, sure. And, you know, now it's finally come to life, and we're very excited to actually be here at the North Shore Center for Performing Arts yeah. uh, and, you know, to have put on Mamma Mia in the large center theater. So it was just a little surreal even in our group preview today to see that many people gathered in the same room watching yeah. the same show. Uh, it, it just, it feels abnormal, but at the same time, it's so exhilarating and yes. very exciting. I know and, it's like thrilling for all of us on stage to finally uh, get the chance to, to do what we had planned to do for over a year now. Right. And so it, it's, it feels so good. It feels so, so good to be yeah. on stage with everybody. And that was really my next question. Like, how does it, you know, how does it feel now really being back out there and just you know, we were locked up for practically almost two years. And yeah. then all of a sudden, hey, you know, we're, we're back into action. You know, let's start putting on live theater again, which is fantastic news. Yes. You know, but it's a little bit of a shock for everybody. It but, is. But, so, but not in a bad way, in a, in a good way. We're kind of going from zero to a thousand miles an hour yeah. in just a matter of seconds, you know. Yeah, so. it feels um, it feels a bit nervous. Like I, maybe I forgot how to do it, <laughs> um, but as it turns out, I didn't forget. And it's just like riding a bicycle, right? Once yeah. you know how, and we have such a, a great team that it felt, it felt so natural to come back and do it. And yes, there were precautions and extra things that we had to do, but I think all of us were so willing to do that because we had missed it so much over the last few years. So yeah, oh, yeah. yeah it feels a little nervous, but overall exhilarating. Yeah, and you know, one one thing you know that really makes uh, Mamma Mia so special is you know the songs of Emma, you know, and yeah. really just diving into that, you know, particularly now out of all the songs that are incorporated into this musical, what is by far, I mean, everyone's going to say Mamma Mia, but besides that, is there one that um, really stands out for you? I mean, I like to sing, does your mother know? Cause okay. that's my big number. Yeah. But I would say in this production, production, um, the first time we sing dancing queen with the three of us girls, uh, it is so real. The joy that we have found in that number, it feels so genuine. And I think every time I get off stage from singing Dancing Queen with the three girls, I think we have to hug because it's just such a joy. And and it really does bring, like I can't force myself to smile because I'm just like beaming while we're doing that number. Right. So it's not even acting, you know, it's just like enjoying the people around you and singing this great song that everyone knows. Yeah. And just having fun with it, Justin really allowed us to play and just, 
go forth and try stuff. Right. It's like, you don't want to do that. We'll just try anything. And, <laughs> and he was great. He was great. He gave us all the freedom in the world. And we came up with something really, um, really joyful and, and meaningful. For you know? sure. And, you know, I, I think the creative team has done a very nice job. Justin, uh, Shana, Shana uh, yeah. um, and then Linda as well. Um, Amazing. Yeah. And the three of them work so well together and really allowed all three of them to band together and coordinate the right things with the cast and put on an amazing show. So yes, um, yes, agreed. before we sign off uh, for today, if you want to just tell everyone at home listening right now, what is the number one thing that is really going to pull them in to see the show? Like, or, or what is that one, that one liner that you can share with everyone that would really make them come? God, one line. I've got so many. <laughs> um, I would say the dancing, yeah, the music, the story, but most of all, um, the party atmosphere that I feel like we've all been missing. If you're missing it, come see Mama Mia. We will give you the best party, the best party. I hope you're ready for that mega mix. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I am. <laughs> well, we are all very excited. And, you know, like I said, I've seen a number of run throughs of the show so far and you've done a fantastic job. Everyone else has done a fantastic job. You guys work so well together and I'm just so thrilled. And I know Music Theater Works as a company is so thrilled to actually make this happen now, starting tomorrow, running through to August 29th. So everyone, please go ahead and buy your tickets now. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you all tomorrow when the show opens. But thank you so much for your time today and coming into the interview and answering yes. a few questions. Oh, and thank uh, you. please go on stage and as the old saying goes, break a leg. <laughs> oh, I love it. He knows exactly what to say. <laughs> well, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. We will speak soon. And please be safe and healthy. Okay. Bye. Bye.